I am not going to name any names, but I'm going to say <laughs> you're out of order. You're out of order trying to teach people that religion and politics go together. We the people for the people <clears throat> and state and religion is not supposed to be put together. Our people can't be fooled. And the thing is, is that you can't, you can't find the benefits in slavery in any type of culture. The reason why is that slavery is a mind controlling mechanism. It also um, points to witchcraft, which a lot of people um, do not really go deep into, but it's the truth. Anything that controls the mind of another is a craft that someone else has consorted. And so anyone that is in this here place and they believe that enslaving and trapping or even, you know, children trafficking, adult trafficking is out of order. <laughs> You're out of order. All right. And it's not a joking matter. It's just why are we voting for people? that are not helping the people. And, and, you know, really the people have the power to take back what belongs to them. And it's an interesting conversation as I uh, think and I go more into it, I'm listening and looking and I'm saying, you know, Venus and, and Leo really, it, it gives you this, this retrograde, it gives you the ability to look back and say what has been taken from me. And a lot of people are looking personally, but on a collective level, we can look at, uh, Venus retrograde and Leo as a creative time to explore avenues of our life where we can collectively take our power back. Taking your power back collectively means that you've never been enslaved. It was just a um, an illusion that was presented. And so when I say you're out of order, those that present slavery as something that we still have to be a part of or saying that it was a benefit to them, they're out of order. If that's their opinion, then they can keep it. But we don't want to present it as a benefit to the people. Even when we read the Bible and we see slavery there, you want to stop like and say, okay, wait a minute, who put this here? Because that means that there was something added. God never intended for us to be um, enslaved um, and that's a deep discussion. I don't believe because if there was an intention to be enslaved, then why do we have freedom? And we have freedom because we have a choice to be slaved, enslaved, or to choose freedom. And of course, there was a time when these people are talking about it was a benefit of it. Um, there's a, a lot of opinions, but there's never a benefit when people are massively um, hurt, destroyed. You know, some of the things that um, I get into on my channels is the fact that there were farms where women were um, breeded for having babies back in the 17 and 1800s, 1600s. You can do your own research. Um, there were men that were used to breed with the women. So these were firms. So trafficking, it didn't just start. And of course, we know if we go to Africa and we have connections, and I've been to Africa, it's not something that I'm saying without knowledge of, that there has been um, trafficking. And the trafficking um, means that um, in our culture of America, people, um, they prostitute others. And um, women and children and men all over the world, not just in Africa, are taken and abducted and they're prostituted. That's enslavement. I mean, when you start opening up your mind, you kind of look at life and you say, okay, I've only been looking at what I've been taught and what I could see every day. When you start doing research, because you're led to what you'll find is the truth and the truth will make you free. And for someone to say that there's a benefit in slavery, it is an opinion. You know, I don't want to like get into their um, philosophy, but I also want to say that in my opinion, when you um, when you when you do your uh, spiritual practices every day, there's an illumination to life. 
you receive wisdom and knowledge. One of the things you can research. So, you know, when the elections come up again, because people are talking about that, you have elections going on in your cities and states. They want you to vote. You want to study the electoral system that was not created um, equally. You want to study it. And then you also want to look at how um, these people are brought into office. It's not just by your vote. It is by a state vote. I'm not going to tell you the whole story. But when slavery is a benefit, there's something in the person's mind of their opinion that they said it. But I look at the opinion of free people a person becoming free. And so um, I'm going to leave it there. I, I was listening to a couple of people this morning and, you know, um, this thing with slavery being taught in the schools and what they're doing in Florida or what they're coming to is another extension of, you know, back in the 19, 1990, let's say 99, they had no child left behind and they constructed the uh, tool of testing and children are not always um, equally savvy with testing. Some some children and people, they need different devices. So there's no e equality there, you know, and children were left behind. And this was constituted from um, the po political arena because that's where public school systems come from. And so we have people that are, um, coming into mind again with, you know, like uh, colored skin saying that um, their opinion is that slavery uh, was a benefit, but they are also cross teaching in pulpits. I know that's a lot. Your religion doesn't go in pulpits. I, I can't stand, and this is my opinion, when a pastor tells his people to go and vote. Number one, what has voting done for the people? And I'm not saying that you shouldn't vote. I'm saying that there should be a change for the people. So people have to take their power back. That's what this is all about. How do you do it? You come together in groups and you start thinking about what these people are um, telling you. That what they're telling you is, is this true? Because they've been making promises from the beginning of time when they shipped slaves to America. And they began um, the, you know, the independence, the constitution where they started letting slaves go. Listen, I, I can't remember them doing anything. A lot of people talk about JFK and this is in a time when I was born in the sixties. Um, it's still people that are struggling and it's minorities when they actually are majorities because there's more of colored skin people than there is of white people. You can research everything. You know, I research and I've also listened to, um, I think his name is Martin Rowland. I think that right now he's on a roll with some stuff, meaning to educate the populace. And the reason why the populace is not educated is because they don't care. They don't feel like anything is going to work. They also, um, they don't care. They feel like this is as good as it gets. But people, as we work together, it does get better. And one thing is, is that, Slavery is not beneficial. It's shown as a marker of time in history. But I'm going to put that link where I'm rolling and his people were talking about all of this. And I agree with them. I also um, think that the electoral system should be changed in order for it to work for the Americans. That's what I think. You know, this is opinion. You can add your opinion. I'm not saying that I know everything. I feel like the injustice that we're served is going to continue until we all come together and speak up and stop letting them. When you look at your money, let me find a dollar bill or something right now. You can't hardly find them because we got the ATM cards now. Red. All right. But when you look at this here, I don't see nobody that look like me. Right. This here house. I ain't never been in there. Let's see who I George. And you know you can fit yours with George and all of them consulting together. 
I've told in my classes, let's see, I'm trying to make y'all see it. I know that y'all might say, well, you know, they got some other people now. I don't, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that I want to find, it's a picture where all of these people discussing matters, but it is, it's, it's not people of color. And um, while we're talking, it's not about racism. This is about um, leveling up because I have, you know, friends that I love to like that are not um, my color. Our people, meaning my people, they, they got to level up because you always, you know, you're talking about mistreatment and unfairness. I've been there until I started waking up and seeing these things. Why, why is pastors teaching me to give them tithe, but I can't go to them and get no help? Why are, why, why am I not able to reciprocate receiving from them? Why are you telling me to go and vote for people that ain't, they're not doing anything for my culture? You won't even teach me more about my culture. I had to go and learn about my culture traditionally. You know, like when I get smart with my family or other people and I say, when I say get smart, I'm like, you know, Thanksgiving is not my holiday. And they'll say, what? Yes, because I was trying. Christmas is not even my holiday. I was trained to believe that. Why? Because I go out and I spend all of this money. Now, when the holidays come around, my organization's give to um, families that are in need, but that's because they're in need, which is what we should be doing in our communities. Churches should be doing the same thing. You can read it in Malachi uh, 3 says, bring all the tithe into my house so there'll be meat in my house. It's not so the, the pastor would be able to eat. It's because the pastor would be able to reciprocate and give to the community. Now, when you get to church and state, it's not supposed to be, but you can see church and state consorting in the Bible. And they were the ones that caught that they killed Jesus. Because Jesus was out in the community helping the people, giving them turkeys. He didn't tell them, oh, this is not your holiday like me. I only get like that when I'm like sick and tired of all of this here um, propaganda. And the agenda is to destroy a people who listens to them. Gosh, I wish the world was a better place. Gosh, I wish we would come together and we would actually work together and do that. It's so much to our culture. See, you know, Black people, they are always trying to pull each other down. Some people are not going to like that. I showed up, but I always like to talk about things that are on Mondays. I usually have a show, but I'm just coming back. Um, I have not been feeling well. People don't like to hear the truth. And so in your, you know, your state consciousness and in the church consciousness, am I um, tearing down the church and saying, don't go? I'm saying, no, I'm not. I'm saying, straighten it up. What that mean? If you got parishioners, don't overlook them because you hear the word of God. Help all your people. All of them came there for a reason. Everyone that go to, goes to church is hurting and they don't need to be directed to a system that's hurting them. Why don't you teach your people in this church? Why don't you teach them everything? How to heal their family. How to heal their finances. These are the things. They, they don't need the emotionalism anymore. They, they need to learn. You know, we, we go in and we talk about learning. Malcolm X was a great teacher. Throughout his evolution, he continued to open up his eyes and his own soul and mind to enlighten the people out of his own tragedies and his own uh, ignorant thinking. We all do this. We do not keep perpetuating a lie after a lie saying, well, that's, that's one time when I was living and that's what I said then. That's what I said then. Forgive me for the ignorance because I was wrong. We're all e evolving. We make mistakes. And guess what? What we knew at that time is what we knew. So we're learning to know more and collaborate that in information. No one is perfect. Gosh, I hope I make sense. I hope they make some changes so that it can be some fairness, truly. But even while they're not 
making the changes for fairness. Let's be fair with ourselves. Let's get up every day, be consistent, and believe, believe in ourselves, come together as a community, help each other, because we need that right now. God bless. Gosh, I hope I made sense. Bye-bye.